scientist. I'm teacher Rosalie G. Martelliana, your science teacher for today. Are you ready to discover about science? Come on! Are you ready to start learning? But before that, we will first sing a song by Jack Hartman. Six simple machines rap. You can do it just like that. Learn what they do and how they help you. Six simple machines rap. One, the lever. It moves big things up and down. A lever arm and a fulcrum work together like a seesaw at a children's playground. Two, the wheel and axle. It helps you carry and move big loads. The wheel turns round the axle at the center and goes down driveways, tracks, and roads. Three, the pulley. It lifts or lowers heavy stuff. A grooved wheel and a rope really do it. They make hard work not so tough. Six simple machines wrap. You can do it just like that. Learn what they do and how they help you. Six simple machines wrap. Four. The incline plane. It moves heavy things higher and lower like a ramp or a slanted surface on the ground. It makes things easier, just slower. Five. The wedge. It splits things up or holds things back. You push. Hit or place it, it works. It's two inclined planes back to back. That's a fact. Six, the screw. It holds things in place or lifts them up. Turn right, it goes down. Left, it goes up. It's an inclined plane around a nail, pretty much. Six simple machines wrap. You can do it just like that. Learn what they do and how they help you. Six simple machines wrap. The lever, the wheel and axle, and the pulley too. The incline plane and the wedge, and don't forget the screw. Again, the lever, the wheel and axle, and the pulley too. The incline plane and the wedge, and don't forget the screw. Six simple machines wrap. You can do it just like that. Learn what they do and how they help you. Six simple machines rap. The six simple machines rap. Now, let's assess how much do you know in our lesson. Let's have a short recall on our past lesson about simple machines. You need to put a check mark on the object that is an example of a simple machine and a cross on the object that is not a simple machine. Number 1. Wheelchair ramp Correct! That's a check! Number 2. Bubbles That's right. That's a cross. Number three. So. Great. It's a check. Number four. Wheelbarrow. Good job. That's a check. Number five. Flower. Great! That's a cross. Number six. Trowel. Yes, it's a check. Number seven. Clouds. Excellent! That's a cross. And number eight. Axe. 
Great! That's a check! Good job, kids! Today, we will talk about simple machines. How does simple machines make our works easier? It makes our work easier by multiplying the size of force you exert. There are six types of simple machines. They are lever, pulley, wheel and axle, inclined plane, screw, and wedge. Levers. A lever is a bar that is free to fibot or turn at one fixed point. The fixed point is called a fulcrum. The part of the lever on which the effort force is applied is called the effort arm. The part of the lever that exerts the resistance force is called the resistance arm. Three types of lever. The first class lever. The fulcrum is located between the effort and the resistance forces. These levers are usually used to multiply force. If a large effort force is used on a shorter arm of the lever, it can be used to multiply the distance. Examples of first class lever are pliers, scissors, and pray bar. Second class lever. The resistance is located between the effort force and the fulcrum. These levers multiply force. Examples are wheelbarrow and nut crocker. Third class lever. The effort force is located between the resistance force and the fulcrum. The effort arm is always shorter than the resistance arm. So it cannot multiply the force and is always less than 1. Therefore, it is not used in a situation in which a force must be multiplied. Pulley A pulley is a grooved wheel with a rope or chain that works something like a first-class lever. Pulleys can be fixed or movable. The movable pulley has a greater mechanical advantage and therefore multiples the effort force by a greater amount. Also, more pulleys, more rope, less effort. Wheel and Axle Simple machine consisting of two wheels of different sizes that rotate together. The smaller wheel is usually called the axle. Effort force usually applied to larger wheel. Inclined plane. Using the rump to cover more distance rather than lifting the object straight up allows you to exert much less force. The longer the rump, the greater the mechanical advantage and the greater it multiplies the effort force. The screw. A screw is an inclined plane Wrap in a spiral around a cylindrical post. The wedge. A wedge is an inclined plane with one or two sloping sides. Knife and axe blades are wedges. When using the simple machines, you must practice precautionary measures to avoid accident. Safety with sharp objects. One. Use sharp tools under adult supervision. Ask for help when having difficulty in using. 2. Choose tools of the right size for your hands. Tools that are too large for hands can slip while in use and will cause danger. 
3. When using sharp tools, give your full attention to what you are doing. Make sure that you have good lighting so you can clearly see the tools and your hands. 4. Keep, clean, and return sharp tools to their proper places or storage. Do not leave tools scattered around your house. Safety on ramps. 1. Look out for and avoid slippery spots. 2. Hold on the handrails. 3. Do not run down or race on ramps. 4. Be extra careful in bringing down patients on wheelchair, baby on strollers, or grocery carts. Safety on pulley. Check the ropes if at the right cage, thick enough, and are in good condition, not yet brittle or frayed. 2. Make sure that the knots are tied correctly. If not sure, have it checked by experts. 3. If you like doing activities like siblinging or wall climbing, check the reputation of the place, competence of the attendants, and durability of facilities before you do the ride. And 4. Have safety nets and back-up ropes in case the main supporting rope snaps. Let's try another activity. In this task, you're going to classify the following simple machines. You need to put them on their proper column. Now, let's see if your answers are correct. Lever, we have seesaw, seesaw, and flyer. Wedge, we have axe, knife, and chainsaw. For pulley, we have flagpole, elevator, and well. For inclined plane, we have stairs, ramp, slides, and escalator. Wheel and axle, we have windmill, skateboard, wheelbarrow, and pizza cutter. And for screw, we have a jar lid, a bolt, and a drill. Excellent learners! Let's move on! In this activity, you're going to identify which of the pictures below is a lever. Put a cross mark on the drawing or illustration that you think is not a lever. Let's start! Let's see if your answers are correct. The drawing or illustration that is not a lever are Number 4, light switch. Number 6, car. Number 7, ruler. Number 8, eraser. And number 10, hot. Examples of levers are 1, or 2, baseball bat. 3, fork. 5, pair of scissors, and number 9, spoon. Good job, kids! <laughs> On this task, you're going to look around your home. Take note of the simple machines that you can see. List down all the things that you think are example of a simple machine or a combination of simple machines. 
roam around children. It's checking time. These are some examples of simple machine or combination of simple machines that you can find at home. Answer. Very good, kids. After doing the lesson task four, you're going to answer the following questions. One. Why are simple machines important? Cite everyday activities where simple machines are used. 2. What are some precautionary measures that you need to do while using simple machines? These are the possible answers about the following questions. I know you got it right. Good job. For this activity, you need to read and understand each item, then choose a letter of the best answer. Good luck, kids! Let us see if your answers are correct. 1. D 2. A 3. B 4. C <music> 5. A Did you get all the correct answer? Good job, kids! For your enrichment or additional task, you're going to perform this activity on your answer sheet. That's all for today's Young Scientist. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from our lesson today. 
Until next time, but always remember that discovering science around is exciting and fun. Bye, kids!